Good morning, class. Shall we all stand for our opening prayer? Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for this wonderful day you have given to us. May you shower us with your love and blessings as we study today. Give us wisdom and knowledge so that we can understand the lesson. Forgive our sins. This is all we pray in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. You may all be seated. Hi class, I am Miss Fabi Katahan and I will be your teacher in arts. But you can call me Teacher Fabi. Before we start, I will give you simple rules that you need to follow on our class. It has an acronym read for you to remember it easily. R stands for respect, E stands for excellence, and D stands for discipline. You must respect all people here. You must listen carefully to excel on our lesson. And you must discipline yourself at all times. Am I clear? Now, if I call your name, please say present. Rada. Chanelli. Miles. Steven. Steve. Adrazen. Isaiah. Very good class, there is no absent today. As we begin, let's say, art makes my word wonderful. Girls, art makes my word wonderful. Boys, art makes my word wonderful. All together now, let's say, art makes my word wonderful. Very good. Through our lesson for today, we will know different logos and we will also be able to make our own logo. This will help you to, more, to have more knowledge regarding digital art. You will surely enjoy and have fun with this lesson which can help you, you develop your creativity. Are you ready class? Very good! Before going to our lesson proper, let's have some fun activities. I will show you some pictures and you will guess what picture it is. Just raise your hand if you want to answer. All of the pictures that I show to you are called logo. I am sure that you are all familiar with it. So, let me ask you some questions. First, what can you say about the first pictures or logo? Anyone? Yes, Rada. Very good. It is a logo of a fashion brand called Nike. How about the second one? Yes, Rada. Great! It is a logo of a fast food restaurant that is famous here in our country called Jalibi. And the third one? Yes, Isaiah. Very good! It is a logo of a group of superheroes in a film called The Avengers. How about the fourth one? Yes, Chanelli. Excellent! It is a logo of one of the most influential social media sites called YouTube. And the last one? Yes, Miles! Great! It is a logo of a noontime show called Eat Bulaga. Let's give yourself a clap of celebration! Our lesson for today is all about digital drawing logo. That's why I showed you some logos a while ago. Let's start with the definition of digital. Anyone who wants to read? Yes, Miles. Thank you, Miles. 
As what Mel said, digital are electronic tools, systems, or devices that generate, store, and process data. Some examples include social media, online games, multimedia, and mobile, mobile phones. I know you can define drawing personally, so let's move to the definition of logo. Can someone read? Yes, Rada. Thank you, Rada. As what Rada read, logo is a symbol made up of text and images that identifies a business. It creates a brand mark for a company. So based on their definitions, can someone define what digital drawing logo is? Yes, Isaiah. Excellent answer. It is making or drawing a logo with the use of technology like any editing applications. Remember class, a well-designed logo builds trust and gets people to stick around. Now, I will give the five characteristics of logo. A good logo must be simple, relevant, memorable, timeless, and versatile. As I said, a while ago, we can make a logo using technology. But what if we don't have any application or device? We can create a logo in a traditional way. We just need art materials like pencil, paper, and coloring tools. Then, you can make a beautiful and creative logo by yourselves. Is that clear? Now, let me guide you in creating your own logo. First, develop your brand identity. Second, look for design inspiration. Third, choose colors that reflect your brand. And fourth, pick up appropriate and creative fun. And fifth, create several rough versions. And six, get others' feedbacks. And seven, polish your winning design. Now, are you ready for your group activity? Very good. I want you to create a logo that can encourage students like you to study hard. Since we don't have any means of technology, I prefer art materials that you can use. I divided you to, into three groups and you must work with your group effectively. And remember, in doing art, you must be creative. Excellent work, class. Since you all know how to create a logo, we can use this knowledge to make a better world for everyone. As I discussed a while ago, a well-designed logo builds trust and gets people to stick around. Logos are not only for business ventures or for institutions. We can create logos to motivate, encourage, and persuade people to do something in our world. How can you use this knowledge in this time of pandemic? Very good! Logos can also be the symbol of unity. Just like the logo of the Department of Education, the logo of the Department of Health, and many more. Logos can also be set as our identity or identity of an institution where we belong. For example, the religion or church we belong to, the school we are attending, or even the country we are living in. To wrap up our lesson for today, can you tell me what have you learned? Very good. Can you tell me step on making a logo? First, develop your brand identity. Two, look for design inspiration. 3. Choose colors that reflect your brand. 4. Pick a font. 5. Create several rough versions. 6. Get feedback. 
7. Polish your winning design. For your last activity, can you tell me whether the statement is true or false? Number 1. A logo can be a symbol of identity. 2. You cannot create a logo if you do not have digital technology. Number 3. An example of a logo is a business, business logo. Number 4. In creating a logo, you don't need to consider its relevance. Number 5. A logo must be memorable and versatile. Excellent! Thank you for your active participation. Let's give yourself a clap of celebration. As I end, can we say again that art makes my word wonderful? Again, art makes my word wonderful. Goodbye class. See you on our next meeting. God bless us all.